day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's close with this one. The message of salvation. What you got there, sir, for us? Romans 10, 5. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. Mm -hmm. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, <gasps> say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above or who shall descend into the deep. That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. Mm -hmm. But what you say it? The word is nigh thee, mm -hmm. even in thy mouth and That's in thy I heart. Think. That right. is the word of faith, which we preach. Which is what we preach. That is what we preach. The word of faith we preach. That's what we preach. And it's just about the kingdom. No, no question about that. It's about the kingdom. It's part of the gospel. But that's what we preach. And this here. Okay. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jehoshua. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, and like I shall said, believe in thy heart. Uh-huh. That Jeho Jehovah, <laughs> that <laughs> God, hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah, and it's interesting that when he wrote that, you're talking about even when Paul wrote that, he said Joshua. Yeah. I mean, for people to get a little more background, what we talk about is the translation, the Hebrew translation for the original scripture. The original is Joshua. We came up, I mean, 1500 is when that name came up. And we're not going to put that name down because we made it fit. We made it fit, mm. right? We made it fit. But reality is Joshua. That's, that's the name. That's a Hebrew name. And it means Savior. And then again, and, like we stated and, earlier, if yeah. you can't believe that God raised him from the dead, then your your worship and your, your faith is in vain. And that's why I put it up there, too, because the fact is that this is Resurrection Sunday. And that's the message. Not the bunny. Yeah, that's the key component to this life. That's the only, Paul said it. If we don't, if he didn't get up, we, we just in vain. Yeah. We just... Everything we're doing is just in vain. He got up and he's enforcing the commandment. Yeah. You know, the new, the new resurrection that we were brought into the covenant. He is doing that. And then, every time somebody comes up and try to, I mean, even when you talk about the, even back to the black Hebrews again, did you hear about, about the Edomites? You heard about them? Yeah. It, they, they were saying is that all these people are Edomites, but God hate them, so they're not included in this. Or, like you said, some people said that, I think the guy was advertising, saying this, this is for us. <laughs> you know, the whole purpose of it is to say, this is all for us, not for anybody else. Yeah. See, everybody else is excluded. And, and, and that's where, that's not what the gospel is talking about. The gospel for all nations, all kindreds, all families of the earth. And it's, it's because all of us are made and were created by God, made in the image of God. We all are. And nobody earned the right to be better than somebody else. Sanctified just means set aside, isn't it? That's you yeah. and I had that discussion earlier. It means set aside. Set aside. Not to say you better, because the scripture clearly said you know you won't you don't don't boast. There's no boasting in this. 
there's no boast in salvation. No. 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 It's all free. No, not by man. You, you can boast on man, God. Man. You can boast on God. All you want. You give can boast the on Jesus Christ. Yeah. But so you cannot boast message. on anything that you've done. And that's what this is all about. That's what this, it's all that's about. That's what this is. This is set up so that you cannot take credit for what God done. You can't. Nor can you take credit and say you're better than somebody else. No, no. You are not better than the rest of God's creation. That man who we saw the day that, that shot that other man, you're not better than him. You just, you basically shot the image of God. For what? That's the point we want to bring up. But the whole purpose is that he died and God raised. See, look, look. Here's back to the old point again. Look, who raised him? God raised him. Nobody else raised him, did he? God mm -hmm. raised him from the dead. Because only God could do that. God raised him. Verse 10, verse 9, just in case anybody forget what we're talking about, is that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Joshua. And the only reason we're telling people that we're saying is Joshua is because the word, the name Jesus was not incorporated until 1500. That's the only reason we're saying Joshua is that when Paul wrote that, it was Joshua. That's all we're trying to say. Back in the Old Testament, Joshua, you want another translation? was well, Joshua, right? The English translation is really Joshua. Or even Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua, yeah. Yeah. And, and and all those words have meanings too, right? The Yah is in there somewhere, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yahweh. And yes. that's what they're supposed to, that's that's the original sound. We say with a J, but it is Yah. Yah. And Yah has Yahushua. A, yeah. Is what it is how it is really pronounced. Because like we said, there's no J uh, in uh -huh. their language. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, so sure. it is, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. the fact of God. Because we're really talking about God, right? Yeah. It's the part about the infraction of God in there, the savior. Yeah. I mean, it's it's stay on message. So we just tell y'all the reason we're saying that today is not to put down what tradition have given us, but to make sure we understand that is Joshua. Or like he said, and don't forget Yahweh is, is God, you know, to make sure you understand that. But that's why we said that. But the whole purpose is God raised him from the dead that we could be saved. And that's the message, isn't it, for Resurrection Sunday? Yeah. You know, for with the heart, not with your works, right? Not, not with your ability, not because you're special, not because of the melody in your skin, but because of your spirit. Man believes into righteousness. And what? What's coming out of your mouth? <laughs> Confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. That's why it's important to call everyone a child of God and look at them as a child of God. Instead of looking at him as a black man or a white man or a yeah. brown man or, or a Jewish man. or See, we do all that. In reality, what needs to come out of our mouth is if you are in Christ Jesus, you're brother or sister. You're my brother. You're my sister. Yeah. If you, if you accept the same. If, 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 if Christ is your Lord and Savior. Yeah. And you believe that he was raised from the dead yeah. by God. Yeah. Then we are brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. And we shouldn't be having this. Uh, we should be not be part of the discussions of discrimination or racism or superiority mm -hmm. or supremacy or anything else because we are children of God. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we, that's the message he's trying to get to people. So people listen to that. Please remember, we are all, all the children of God. We are all with that peculiar people, call out the doctors and place to God's marvelous light. Amen. Mm -hmm. For the scripture says, whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. 
for there is no, look at here, there, here's a breakdown for you, bro. Yeah. For those people that deal with racism and anything else, ism, and separation and division. What are you saying, brother? Uh, says, there's that. no difference between the black or the white. Come on, brother. Or the, the, the Asian. Come on, brother. Or the Hispanics. Come on. Or the Greeks. Come on. Or the Jews. Come on. Or the Jebusites. That's what he's Miller, saying. I mean, what are the Amulites? Come on. <laughs> the no Jebusites. <laughs> or the Amorites. Edomites. <laughs> Edomites. Come on. There's no different. No if, if, if you are reborn, how, how can you even consider yourself anything other than a child of God? And how can you consider anybody else other than what they profess? Yeah. If they confess and believe that Jesus or Joshua is Lord, why would you treat them differently? Why yeah. would you see them differently? You know? That's why the scripture says that in Romans 12 too, be not conformed to this world. Yeah, but, but be, be transformed. transformed by the renewal of your mind. Yeah. So those are those people that have issues, whether you're black or white or brown. Listen, he said is renew your mind and look at your brother and your sister as children of God. But all mankind are made in the image of God. Yeah. And when you hate your fellow man, <laughs> yeah, when you beat your wife, <laughs> right? You beating yourself, hey. Yeah. And I like your part earlier. You're talking about the body of Christ. We're all part of the body. If you if you heard the toe hurts, everything hurts in the body. Yeah. Come on, bro. There's no difference for there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek for the same loyal. Same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall do what? Call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. That's it. That's the message. And that's why we want to be unity in one. And it doesn't matter whether we identify from the curse, it doesn't matter whether you sit there and identify by the flesh. Because Paul said, in my flesh was what? No, no good, good thing. So don't get deep on uh, this, this, this issue. So I wanted to bring that out. And I, I'm, I may bring it out again on, on Thursday. It, and I know I'm bringing it out on my TikTok. I, I'm, I sent you my TikTok on YouTube since you said you don't have that TikTok account. And yeah. all of you noticed that. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at that one. I just said. No, I, I have not. Can you um, take a look at that one? I was, okay. I was wanted to. I was bringing out the fact of the we're supposed to be bearing fruit, and this thing about being better than somebody else is 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 just not being a child of God. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, you're not you're not acting like a child of God. You're acting like that which has no eternal life. So I've been using those little. Just let you know, I've been using the little. Uh, I've been making I've been I've been making the TikTok YouTube videos to call three minute mm -hmm. videos and just trying to get that that those so those points across. I may have to do. I think I'm gonna do a, a three minute one called the Have Video. I just say, <laughs> Brother Addison said. No, don't say that. No, 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 no. I'm going to put it. Brother Addison reminded us what's written. And what's written is the fact is that we're all placed in heavenly places using that scripture that I showed you, we talked about. Then we have videos. We, and then what's that scripture? We're not in this world. You know, we're, 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 we're in this world, but we're not of this world. We're not of it. Yes, sir. So yeah. we are have, have videos. See, that's your new t-shirt. Because ain't nobody got that t-shirt out there. <laughs> yeah. You might need to put it out there. What's a heavy video? Oh, those who've been born again. And then now made to sit together in heavenly places in Christ, Joshua. <laughs> All right, bro. I think we got enough to chew on and think about that. Tell me more when you think. You said, like you said, there's some thoughts. On yeah. the uh, Joshua piece, what's and, and there's there's just 
because you did that, I've been going back. I went back to, to Genesis, like, because we mentioned Adam. And it's Adam. It's Adam. <laughs> Adam. And uh, that's what God created. Uh, created he, he, he man, you know, Adam. Which is made in the image of him. And then it changed to Adam. <laughs> oh yeah, we changed it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We changed Adam to Adam. To give it a name. Yeah. We put a name opposed to what he created was this this is what I created. Yeah. See, I made it a name. Matter of fact, I changed it <laughs> to make it as a name to almost water it down. Yeah. It says God created man but in the in 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 the original text it was god created adam d whoo wow because if i make it a name now i can now i'm separating because there's other people with names yeah <laughs> We got to watch the subtleties. He even said he came in subtly, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And he, he wants us to keep the message. So let's keep preaching the message, staying on, on track with the message. And we're not talking so much the fact of just, it was saying Joshua, we're saying it right. Why? Because that's, that's what's written. Really, that's how you did. That's why he told us. I think that's why he came over to Matthew chapter uh, four. And how he confronted the devil. What is written? Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, you know, think about it. When somebody argues about that, right? Uh, oh, we've been, I've been, I'm going to stick with that. Well, I'm fine. I'm just sticking what's written. Yeah. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. I, well, yeah. Whatever you want to do, you do what you, hey, you, whatever floats your boat. I'm not going to put you down. I'm not going to condemn you. I'm just yeah. telling you what's written. And, you know, and, and we, we, we're not, getting caught up in the original text mm -hmm. to say that we should be reading Hebrew, you know, all the Bible should be read in Hebrew and Greek, or you use those words, but names are important. Yes. You know, you, you can't, it, yeah. you shouldn't be calling, you know, like uh, uh, if, if a foul has a different name in different cultures, you know, like a bird, call it a bird, and then the the Bible's original text is something else. Yeah, you know that that's not in my mind. That's not an important thing. You know, mm -hmm. but the the name of 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 Adam Adam, the name of Jesus Jehoshua, the name the names of God's attributes Jehovah. Whoa, I like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it are, are are important because look how important it was when the people came to Jesus and said, "We are descendants of Abraham." That mm -hmm. meant something. Mm -hmm. That meant something. That mm -hmm. name meant something. That that name hasn't been changed. <laughs> Yeah. In this Bible, you look it up in its original text, it says Abraham. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And 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 so it makes you wonder why certain things were changed. Especially I don't like when certain things were changed in the 1500s too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could see if it was changed from the beginning in the New Testament, that this is what Paul was coming out of their mouth. When yeah. the disciples coming out of their mouth, or when they when those, when those Pharisees stood and said they were had been with Joshua, you see what I'm saying is when, yeah. when, when you think about it, when they said they didn't say, oh they they've been with Jesus, and they didn't, nobody was thinking that way yeah. at the time. Oh, they were saying, huh? There's one that I, I forgot, Elohim. <laughs> Elohim, yeah, yes, Elohim, yeah. Yeah. So that 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 is another one. I just wanted to put that in. Because all of them got rich in meanings behind them. Yeah. It's the point. 
And when we water, see, I just, like you said, it's sometimes a case of watering down. Yeah. And and look at this. Here's, here, matter of fact, let's use this thing. I'm going to throw this back at you. Is if I use the scripture of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, I think it says, it says, for the weapons of our warfare, not karma, right? But mighty yeah. through God for the pulling down the stronghold, casting an imagination, every high thing exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Yeah. The weapon, are you water? Well, I guess I'm trying to say is if I water down <laughs> the weapon, I, I guess I'm saying I'm moving it from an AR-15 to a slingshot if I don't watch out. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah, it may it it may sting the, the enemy, but it ain't gonna make him it ain't gonna make him move. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. I think that's Look, a, that's a good point to think it, about. Is it may yeah. cause a ripple in the water, but it ain't gonna separate that water. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. Hey, maybe that's why he looks at you. You know that like in the movies, and when they be saying these things, right? The the devil look at him like what, what, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Opposed to when they look, opposed to when they said he, they tremble. Yeah. At the name. Yeah, wow. It pulls them out of the way, pulling down strongholds. Like, it pulls them back. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Get the hints. Yeah. Pulls them back. Yeah. Yeah. And, you and, cast and actually, people. it commands them yeah. to the point of their adherence. Yes. Because the authority is coming from above, they're recognizing the in the form of yeah. the language that was used, yeah, that caused them to do that. So yeah. if if you have a child coming to an adult and telling the adult, "Get out of my way," you know, the adult's gonna look at the child and be like, "You know, I may move." But let me give you some information along with me moving. You don't talk to an adult like that. Yeah. There's a certain way that yeah. you speak yes. to yeah. get the action that you require. Yeah. Yeah. So the child you will be you. corrected. You, you have to say it this way, or I ain't moving, or, I ain't moving. you know, or they hey. might just let the child slide. But well, it's not because of what the child said in the way yeah. the child said it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's going to yeah, cause Yeah, well, bring it up to modern day in the military. How many times people use somebody else's name to get people to do something? Yeah. The general yeah. told me. Master Sergeant, first Sergeant told me. Y'all got to get up and go because first time just said it. I ain't telling you. I'm coming in the name. I'm coming in an authority, somebody else's authority to do something. What 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 did what did it, the centurion say to Jesus? I'm a yeah. man on authority. Yeah, and I'm a, look. Not only that, he said I am also somebody somebody's over me. Yeah, I'm a man of authority. And I'm a man under authority. And if I tell somebody to do something, they do it. Mm -hmm. And remember, I said Jesus marveled. <laughs> Over that man concept of understanding the power of authority. Yeah. It's almost telling like because it's it's a it's down. a That's kingdom principle. It's 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 the, the decree of the king mm. passed down and it's got to be followed. Mm. Because it's it, and that is the form of of faith. D. D. You change in the name. In other words, what, what, what I was saying is you don't go to a gunfight with a knife. Yeah. You know, what, what comes to mind was uh, the movie Shaka, Shaka Zulu. Yeah, Shaka Zulu, yeah. And you had the, uh, the English come in there and they're trying to teach him how to write. They say, you know, they said they were writing and said that this, this carries your word. And Shaka said, well, when I tell them my word, they will speak exactly my words. I'm not worried about that written word <laughs> because, you know, their life depends on saying what I said. 
Yeah. He said, I don't need to write it down. <laughs> yeah. It came out of my mouth. Yeah. They, they supposed to regurgitate what came out of my what, mouth. Exactly what came out of his mouth. He said, I, ain't, I don't need to write it down. <laughs> wow. It mean, means nothing to me. Wow. That's a good, I didn't even catch that. I saw that movie. I didn't see, I didn't even remember seeing that part of that. It stuck out on you because it, it correlates to this. Yeah. Right. Words have meaning. Words have power. You know, when when and even if even if we talk about discrimination stuff from black or white, those when we say black, it 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 has a definition in some people's mind. It yeah. paints a picture, yeah. opposed to saying a child of God. Yeah, but when you say a child of God, that paints a picture. And then you know you'll notice a lot of times it'll be. Uh, you know, a man shot shot uh, somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know, during a robbery. Right. And nine out of ten, that's a Caucasian person. Mm -hmm. But it'd be a, 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 a black man shot a store owner because it it it, it signifies something. Narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feeds into a narrative opposing fact. Because they won't, you'll never hear him say, you'll never hear him say, a white man mm -hmm. shot yeah. a store yeah. or a white man killed his wife or a white yeah. man was arrested. Yeah. It's a person. It's, it's in other words, the individual conduct. Yeah. That's yeah. what it looked at, where they try to make a group conduct when they say, based on ethnic background yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And that's one of the things need to watch out for. How about I like the fact that when we get to the point to get real deep, say, well, a Christian, a Hebrew, a Hebrew or whatever did something. Yeah. Opposed the fact is that when we talk about each other, our culture is, first of all, when we go to another country, we're Americans, right? You, That's what they look at as an American. Why don't we just start recognizing each other as Americans and treating each other with respect? But no, we want to keep this social contract. But God is working this stuff. This is going to change it. And I think this Ukraine was another message that God is using, telling people, this is what happens when you got to want to be in charge of each other. You don't know how to act. And you rude. And you need a Savior. And that Savior is Joshua. Amen? Yep. All right, sir. Uh, hey.